Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Android Studio to make a new project with a blank activity. On a Mac computer, you're going to hold down the win not the Windows key, the command key and the space bar, and then you're simply going to type Android Studio and click enter, and it should open up Android Studio if you have it installed. On a Windows computer, all you gotta do is hit the Windows key and type Android Studio and click enter if you have it installed there. Um, so to start, you're going to want to click Start a New Android Studio Project, pretty obvious, and then you're going to configure it. So your application name um, can be whatever you want, basically, with you know some limits. I don't think you can use like certain keys like those. Yep, you can't do that. Um, but for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to call it Blank Activity, if I can spell it that's what we're gonna make and then the company domain is basically the name of the activity or the name of the application so that blank activity blank activity and then it's followed by dot like your domain so mine would be John's tutorials or you know whatever your company domain is or if you don't have a company just put your name or something it doesn't really matter unless you want to uh, publish this application your package name, for me it keeps getting messed up. It's going to be um, like .com and then your company's domain and then dot the project name but you know puts it there twice for whatever reason. So we're going to get rid of that. There we go. We're going to click done. Make sure you click done. And this is going to define um, where your project is located. You could leave it there but I personally would move it um, to somewhere you can get back to later. So for me, I'm going to go down to the bottom um, to Android Studio. And Android Studio is just the name of this um, uh, login user, which you know usually would be my real name. But for now, it's going to be Android Studio. So you'll find your name here, whatever your account name is, and click it. Just say so you have a good reference, and then go down to maybe your desktop or documents, and I'll put mine in my documents, and click OK, and then you can click Next. Here we get to choose our API level for what we're going to be doing for application. I'm assuming you don't know what API or SDK means, but I'll explain what that means for our purpose. For what we're going to do, um, APIs are going to be each version of Android starting with uh, API 1 which is Android 1.0 and now we're at Android 5.1 Lollipop that's the version of Android and the API level is 22 so basically each API level and new version of Android comes with new features so um, what happens is let's say I want to make an app uh, for a device that runs Lollipop. Well, that's all good and stuff, but what happens if somebody uh, also wants to use my app, but they're on Android 2.3? Well, they are unable to run that because it's not compatible um, because API level I was set at is 22, which only does Lollipop. But less than 1% of the devices currently are running Lollipop. So you want to set this API number not as low as you can go, but within reason. So Android uh, 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich is API 15, which 90% uh, of devices out there um, run that API level. So if you set it to that, pretty much any device can run your app. Also, you can click Help Me Choose, and it'll show you more up-to-date stats on what each device is running. I would keep it an ice cream sandwich because it has plenty of features and you won't you know, run out or not have a feature that you want. So that's where I keep it. And then you can click next and you can choose the activity that you want to make. We're just going to do blank activity because that's what the purpose of this video is. We could do no activity but then there's just nothing happening in our project but we don't want to do that. And also there's all this other stuff, but we'll explore that later. 
here is kind of the tricky part. All these different names. What do these names mean? What's activity, layout name? Basically, the layout is how the app is going to look. Or let's break this down a little bit more. Uh, the layout will be one screen. Maybe this screen will have the title of the app and it'll say like, click here to have fun or something like that. And so, like where the button is, where the title is, what it says, that kind of stuff is stored in the layout name or the layout file. But um, let's say you have a button that says, you know, click this to change the color of the background. Well, that's where um, the functions are stored in the main activity, which is written in Java. This is written in um, XML. But don't worry about this for now. You'll understand later. So we're going to call this blank activity to go along with our um, project. You can name it pretty much whatever you want, just no spaces, no weird characters and stuff. Um, yeah, and then so the layout name, you kind of want to have these two the same. That way you know which is which and which one goes to what. Because if you have five different uh, title screens or different screens, you got to know which activity or functions um, it uses. So just call it activity blank. That sounds good. The title is just um, basically the name of the activity. You don't really need to mess with that. Or the menu resource name. You can leave that how it is. And then you just click finish. And it'll start making your app. Hopefully, if you made it this far, this is what you should see. When your Android Studio project loads up, you'll see the tip of the day, which are pretty much useless, or at least they are for me. And if you watch my videos, you won't really need them. But um, I usually disable them, so the show tips on startup, I uncheck that and click close. Um, sometimes you'll get errors when you first open the program, like I am right now, saying some rendering problems. And we're going to fix that by changing the theme from the original app theme to uh, material, let's say material light, which is a new... Um, design standard from Google for all Android applications. It's just where they want everybody to make it. Uh, and the material theme, Holo is the old one. Um, so, yeah, here we are. We made our blank activity. All done. It says Hello World. It will run if you have a uh, phone or emulator connected. If you just click this little play button. Uh, I'll show you what I meant earlier by the main functions and stuff. The main functions, you can see here's where all the code is about, you know, the stuff it does. And here is the uh, layout file in the layout folder. Pretty convenient. And, you know, like I said, it's the layout, like the words, the buttons, or would-be buttons if you add them, like that. But this is mainly what I'm trying to get you to is a blank activity with nothing in it, just the default, hello world, uh, thank you for watching. Hope this is very uh, helpful to you, and have a nice day.